what's going on guys? This is gonna be a new EDC video, but it's not mine because I already did my EDC. I had persuaded Christina to do her own EDC video simply because she has an awesome little pack and uh, she constantly has this thing and there's even times where I need stuff and, and she whips it out of her little EDC setup and she's much more prepared than even I am. So I wanted to uh, persuade her into doing a video and she so kindly agreed, <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> So, you know, because people like these videos, it's not just to hear yourself talk. I mean, people like these ideas. I get ideas from other people watching EDC videos. I know they're very popular for that reason. You may see something and go, oh yeah, it's a great idea. I never thought of carrying that. Or a particular piece of gear that you may like. All right, so what kind of uh, pack do you have here? I have a Maxpedition M1 waist pack. Okay, and green. You, you carry this like a purse? Like a purse, yeah. So I got their um, inch and a half shoulder strap and I attach it to the Molly's back here. Okay. So this way you can carry it like this, as opposed yeah. to what is this supposed to be carried like on your on your waist? belt, probably. Yeah. All right, and you have this thing packed to the hilts. Well, uh, actually, no, I saw room for. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> it looks like it's about the burst of the seams, but there is more room in there. Yeah. It's amazing how much this actually holds. Uh, all right, first thing, why don't you talk about some of the stuff you have on the outside? Just clip. This is what you use all the time, right? So it's easily accessible. Yeah. So here I have the through night Ti2. Okay. Flashlight. Awesome. That's what I've been seeing. Yes. And then on my keys here, I just have a little Victorinox Classic and the Spedico, what is this, the Cricket? Uh, no, Which the one, is it? one bigger than the Bug. Uh, honey? <laughs> I forget. I don't know. Someone will write in the comments, I know that. It's the smallest one. But one of the Spedico Bug slip joints. It's the middle one. Yeah. Okay. And I also see the little Key Sergeant, which is cool. It's yes. for opening D-rings. Yep, Although we found what that when we use this on the really tiny ones, they bend like the metal actually bends. It's, so it's it's a, not open. even just tiny ones. It depends if this is like a cheaper steel or something like that. It'll just keep it open. Yeah, it sucks. It kind of ruins the D rings, just but bends. it works with the big ones. Yeah. Back here, I have one of these little pouches that I actually keep my headphones in. Very cool. This yes. is the Zippo pouch from County Com, the one that I happened to design mm -hmm. <laughs> for the soldiers overseas, which is really cool. County Com built a thousand of them in different colors and donated them to the soldiers. Mm -hmm. That was like uh, two years ago, I think. Yep. It was really cool to do that. So, um, let's see. What what do you what do you usually put in the front pocket? Like this, your your setup one, is the same all the time. Yeah, right? I used to keep my headphones in here, but it was a little bit tight um, okay. until I got the pouch. Okay. So now in here, I keep like loose thing, like loose change or bobby pins or something like that. A little quick thing. Okay. I'm keeping cool. there. All right, you want to open it? Up? Sure. Okay, on top here is this little small Altoid pin, and yeah. I refill it with Altoids because I always like having Altoids. All right, so you got some duct tape on there just to keep it. Just so I know that's mine, it's easy to see. Okay, easy. Yeah. Here, just uh, Burt's Bees um, lip balm. Okay. Here I have the. Oh, that is the Cold Steel uh, Inferno pepper spray, the yeah. pen. Was so. it a pen? Yeah. I yeah. usually used to have like this, but then people would think it's a pen. Yeah. They started t uh, touching it, so I was like, no, so I started putting it upside down. <laughs> Someone grabs your pen and you say, I nope. knock yourself out. Yeah. Then here's a Sharpie. Okay. And here's Very handy. one of those um, As the straight, straight pens. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I think we just did a review on that, or we will yes, do a review on that. we did. Very cool. Oh, deep down here, I have a whistle. Which kind of whistle is this one? The which, hammerhead. Which, this is what I was talking about. I mentioned this in another video. Uh, the Fox 40, actually my EDC video. Mm -hmm. The Fox 40 Micro, I was talking about how it's a nice loud whistle. But these hammerhead whistles are the loudest whistle that I've ever heard. Mm -hmm. Ever. So it's awesome. I just have a rubber band around here to feel a little bit more grip on my teeth. Okay, good. Um, and whistles actually do come in handy. People, what do you need a whistle for? Well, we use it when we took our little uh, hike in the woods and stuff. Want to yeah. make sure there's no bear around. So you kind of make noise every now and then, give it a little toot. Uh, I also have a Fisher um, Fisher Space Pen in there. Too. Very cool. Um, down here, I have this little wooden box. I keep pills in here like uh, ibuprofen and things like that. That's good. Yeah, just have some simple medication. In this front pouch, I just have, inside here is my ID slip, and I also have my bank card. Okay. And then I just have a little lighter. Good, a little slim line yeah. butane lighter. Back here, I have the Talon That's neck right. knife. That's right, Talon neck knife. Very nice. Reviewed that. And here, I keep a notebook. Just a memo pad notebook with okay. a binder clip on it. Cool. That's, all, that's it for the front pouch. Damn, so all this stuff. All this stuff here on the table is just the front pouch. Well, so mind you, the on, the, on the side, I have it cinched down. So I, if, I, if you can see, it can go out a lot more. Oh, that's right, yeah. So it could fit more stuff in there if I needed to. I can't imagine if you were to fill this thing up, it would be what, like seven inches long, six inches, something like that? Probably, I don't know, it depends. Hanging off someone's waist pack? <laughs> It'd be a lot for this bag. Well, that's what they have the Molly attachments in the back. You can attach it to some of the bigger backpacks. It's yeah. really nice to attach some of these on the side or the front. 
All right. Well, that holds a lot of stuff, and it's got good organization. Yeah. It might be a consideration for people, like you said, who actually want to attach it to a regular bag. Mm -hmm. And the inside here, I just keep tissues. Okay. Um, this black pouch, I actually got this when I was in Europe. In Europe? Yes, Portugal. <laughs> cool. One side, I have... Um, oh, that's right. Your uh, cotton balls. Or cotton lint, balls. Lint. Yeah, and here's truck cloth. And then I have a little bottle of something in there. And I have uh, Q-tips and... Um, Waterproof matches. Okay. So side. like a little makeshift uh, fire kit, yes. just in case. And this is um, a Victorinox that I got in Portugal too. Thirteen there. I think this is the Huntsman model. Okay. I believe because it's got the corkscrew. I like the green, the green green scales on there. I do so love it. Yeah. <coughs> you know I'm a fan of green. Favorite color. Yeah. Well, one of my <laughs> one of my favorite <laughs> colors: green, white, black. Yeah. In here, I keep, um, like I showed you before, screwdrivers. Yeah, she's got all bits. kinds of different types of uh, bits in there, standard bits. She's got random screws, nails, mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff. That little thing. You never know what you might need. Here, I just have the ferro rod. Okay, very cool. And in here, I have, let's make sure it's it. yeah. This is the last thing. I have, it's just an altitude sense. It's got Band-Aids. It's got sewing kit in there. Okay, a little have, makeshift, uh, yep. um, you know, med kit. Yeah, pretty much. has everything in there, Band-Aids and... Uh, yeah, sounds good. Yeah. Well, a lot of people, <laughs> they use these Altoid tins for all kinds of fire starting kits. Yeah. But you see, I mean, they're great little hard cases, so things don't get crushed up. Well, yeah, yeah but, because I buy so many Altoids and I refill this one, I have so many of these tins. Yeah. And they're good just to put all kinds of stuff in. Yeah. And then outside of my pocket, my left pocket, I can usually carry my uh, iPhone 5S, which I've been liking. It's a nice new upgrade. Yeah. And then in my knife um, is the Benchmade 707 sequel. That's right. It is. <laughs> nice D2 blade. We just sharpened it up, cleaned it up for her. She actually maintained it very nicely because, <laughs> who's your boyfriend again? <laughs> you. Yes, yes it is. So <laughs> always she'll have a very sharp, clean knife on her. Yes. And how you been liking the knife so far? I love it. I don't, I don't see a need to get any other one right now. <laughs> see, she's a true, <laughs> yeah, people laugh about this all the time because I, I constantly make EDC videos and if it really was an everyday carry, I'd have the same crap every day, wouldn't I? Uh. Well, I don't because I'm constantly trying new things. You truly have an EDC knife. This knife. You see everything. This I've, is yeah, all every, everything I've seen her. Since I've known her, she had the exact same stuff every a, single day. A few day. new additions, like the pen. Yeah, little there. modifications. But your knife and most of the stuff here is literally the same stuff. Yeah. And she has it every single day, every single place she goes. So constantly prepared. Mm -hmm. And she has a little, you have love the knife, right? I do, I love it. It's cool. So that is it. That is your, your first EDC video. Yes. And it's cool. It gives me, I mean, I, I get ideas from her too. Um, I started, I never really carried a lighter, you guys know I love my Zippos, and I never really started carrying a lighter every single day, but I did add a couple to my bag just to have them. Mm. Um, I actually started getting the small Altoids, not for the tin, but just because I like the Altoids. Mm -hmm. I never tried the small ones before, the little mini ones. But, uh, it's a great little kit. Yeah. <laughs> so, thanks for being a sport and making a video, I know. It's no problem. A little shy about it, <laughs> and that's okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you, uh, enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys got some ideas. Feel free to leave comments as you wish, as usual. <laughs> and I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Yes. Take care.